Heron Hyena, a folk tale from Kenya, East Africa, told to me by Chala Mawasia many years ago in the hills above Machakos, and a Kamba tale. Hare and Aina are best of friends. They decided to have a farm together. Yes, we'll have a nice farm, a garden, and cows. Ooh, they got 10 cows. They got their garden going. Now how to divide up the jobs? Well, that's no problem. Either of us can do either job. So let's just take turns. One day, one of us can work in the garden. The other can watch the cows. The next day, the other can work in the garden. The other can go with the cows. And back and forth and back and forth. That's good. They both agreed. A great idea. So the next day, they started. And Hare said, how about I'll be in the garden today? That's fine with me, said Aina. I'll watch the cows. And so the day went by. Aina came back. Cows are ready. Hare said, okay, I'll milk them. Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, plenty of milk. Next one, quack, quack, quack. plenty of milk. Next, on and on, lots of milk. Mm, 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 mm. Excellent. Let's have a nice supper and drink our milk. Oh, today's my day, said Hare. I'll watch the cows today. So Hyena worked in the garden, and Hare took care of the cows. At the end of the day, Hare came back. Okay, time to milk. I'll take care of that, said Hyena. Quack, quack, quack. Plenty of milk, quick, 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 plenty of milk, on and on. Excellent. Next day, Hare said, I'll take care of the garden. Okay, I'll be there with the cows. Hyena went up, took care of the cows, came back. Cows are ready. Hare went to milking. Quick, 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 quick. Yes, and the next day, and the next day, quick, 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 plenty of milk. Every day, they were working great together until one day. Hyena came back. Cows are ready. And Hare started to milk. No milk. And went to the next cow. No milk. And went to the next cow. No milk. And the next cow. No milk. And the next cow. And came back. Hyena. This is strange. There's no milk in any of the cows. Oh, that is strange, said Hyena. I wonder what's going on. I don't know. I sure hope this is not bad news for us. We need these cows and I need that milk. Well, I'm, I'm sure maybe it's probably just one day. Well, I'll take care of the cows tomorrow. Let's see. The next day, Hare took care of the cows, brought them back. Okay, here's hoping. Hyena, go ahead. Hyena starts milking. <coughs> plenty of milk. <coughs> plenty of milk. <coughs> plenty of milk. Ooh, thank goodness, thank goodness. I guess it was just one day. Okay, we're back again. Hyena went the next day, watched the cows all day, came back. Okay, cows are ready. Hare went to milk them. No milk. Next one, no milk. Next one, no milk. Hyena, no milk again today. That is strange. Well, I hope it's just this one day. Well, you're watching them tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Hare watched them the, that next day and brought them back and Hyena, <coughs> plenty of milk, <coughs> plenty of milk, <coughs> plenty of milk. And the next day, Hyena watched them, came back and guess what? <coughs> no milk. Hmm. The next day, Hare watched them, came back, Hyena milked it, <coughs> plenty of milk. And the next day, Hyena watched the cows and brought them back and guess what? <coughs> no milk, right? And the next day, Hare watched and plenty of milk. And Hare thought, wait a minute. Every time Hyena is watching the cows, at the end of the day, there's no milk. Hmm. Let's see what happens tomorrow. So Hyena came back at the end of the day. Okay, time to milk. <laughs> no milk. No milk. Hey, Hyena, did you, did you like drink some of the milk today? What? Me drink some of the milk? Ah, oh, this is our milk, right? And me drink some of the milk? You mean up in the field? Yeah, well, it got really hot. Nah, the heat doesn't bother me. Well, okay. Hope tomorrow it's okay. 
hare went with the cows the next day, brought them back, and guess what? <laughs> Plenty of milk. Wow. Well, we're back in luck, I guess. Okay. Next morning. Okay, Aine, I guess you're watching the cows again today. Yep, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's gonna work out. Well, Aine went up in the field, and hare started thinking, I think I'm gonna go see what hyena's doing. So Hare went up the hill and hid behind a bush and watched. It was getting hot. And Hare, listen, hyena was talking. Whoa, well, cow, it is getting hot. I think it's about time to milk you. Whoa, that tasted good. Thank you, cow. Whoa. I think I need a little more milk than that. Cow number two. Ooh. A few hours later, I'm thirsty again. And Rabbit watched. Hyena was milking every one of the cows. Oh. Hare hopped back home and waited. Hyena came in. Cows are ready! Hare no milk. Hey, hyena, no milk again. That's really strange. That is strange. I wonder what happened. Did you get thirsty today? No, I was fine. I was fine. Really? Yeah, I was fine. I was fine. Well, here's hoping tomorrow. So, the next day, Hare took the cows up in the field. Hare was still mad, angry at hyena, and got an idea. Hare got out a big knife and cut off the tail of the cow. Thunk! Just like that. Now that doesn't hurt the cow too much, but it doesn't have a tail anymore. And then the next tail. Thunk! 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 All ten tails. And then Hare took those ten tails and went over to the swampy part where it's all muddy and swampy and stuck the tails into the swamp so that the ends of them stuck up out of the swamp. It looked like the cows were down under the mud. And then Hare went and got the cows and led them back into the forest. And then Hare hopped, hopped, hopped back home. Oh no, emergency, emergency, emergency! Oh no, emergency, emergency, emergency! Hyena, hyena, emergency! What, Hare, what, what? I can't believe it, it's all my fault. I'm really sorry, Hyena. I'm really sorry, I'm really, really, really sorry. I'm really so sorry. What, what? Well, well, I, I think I've got to show you the... the the cows fell into the mud, and they can't come out, and I, I'm not big enough to help. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Show me. So, follow me, okay? So, Hyena followed Hare up, and Hare pointed, look! And all you could see were those ten tails sticking up out of the mud. And Hyena said, Hare, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. You know how strong I am. I'll just go grab that tail and pull the cow back out. You will? Oh, hyena, you're so great. Yeah, don't worry. Here, let me grab that tail. I'll just pull this cow right out. Whoa. Uh-oh. I pulled the tail off. I can't believe I did that. Oh, okay, here, I'm sorry, but, you know, we still have nine more. I I'll be a little more careful pulling the next one. I'll get this one out. Don't worry, don't worry. And grab the next tail and whoop, it pulled out. Oh, no, it pulled out too. Uh oh okay, that's two cows, but don't worry, Hare. Oh, no, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Said Hare. Don't worry, Hare. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll pull the next one. Oh, no, and the next one, and the next one, and the next Oh, no. And there was Hyena holding all ten tails. And there were no cows. Oh, they're gone forever, said Hyena. Oh, Hare, I don't know. What are we going to do about this farm with no cows? It's not really a farm for two anymore. You're right, hyena. What do you think? I don't know. I think maybe I better just start my own farm somewhere else. Okay, hyena. You you go ahead, but I'll tell you what. 
we were working together a long time. Why don't you take those tales with you just to remember our work together? Okay, I'll do that. So Aina took off, carrying those tails with it. And as soon as Hare saw that Aina was long gone, Hare went and brought all the cows back and took them back down the hill and milked. Quick, quick, plenty of milk. Quick, quick, plenty of milk. Quick, quick, plenty of milk. And Hare didn't have to worry about milk anymore. But I'll tell you the other thing, Hare and Hyena were never friends again. And that's the story of Hare and Hyena. Thank you.